Deep in the Deschutes Forest at the Ale Apothecary Brewery, sours are the only beer Paul Arney makes. I like to say that uh, the tartness is an element of how we build our beer. Um, a lot of beers you have today, uh, the malt sweetness is balanced by hot bitterness. Um, we try to use the acids from the bacteria and the yeast to balance out our beer. Uh, so I like to think of our beer as balanced, not necessarily sour. For me, uh, it's this um, connection with our past, right? People have been making beer for thousands and thousands of years, and only in maybe the last 100, 150 years have we kind of been making beer the way that we, we see it today. Um, traditionally, uh, in the past, all beers were sour. It may be an old school way of brewing, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Something Larry Sador knows firsthand. How many sour beers do I make? I mean, looking around this, this building, I probably have 10, uh, 10 in process right now. Because sour beers use wild yeast and bacteria, they have to be carefully contained. Grexay does all of their sours in a completely separate room from the rest of their beers. They're a very aggressive uh, bug in general. And so once you have them in your brewery, in your regular brewery, uh, you have to basically put nuclear bombs in your brewery to get rid of these bugs. Why is it worth that whole playing with fire kind of mentality? I mean, why is this beer so worth all that extra work? So why did Columbus sail off into the uh, sunset? Why did Da Gama, you know, go look? I mean, it's a new, it's a new front frontier. It's something to, to work with. It, it's, fr frankly, it's very exciting. I mean, from a brewing standpoint, I love them. Larry started making sours over 10 years ago. Okay, wow. Okay, now take your glass and put it in there. All right. Yeah. And how long has this been aging for? Well, it was at wine harvest, so that went that in. Good. This has been fermenting since probably August. <laughs> so. And so that's a wild fermentation. Mm -hmm. Feel like right on the very back of your, yeah. your palate and the sides. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you've got the acidity. It tastes so bright, yeah. which is it, awesome. It is very bright. Crux's sours age in these barrels anywhere from six months to up to a couple of years. Then it's off to the pub where they finish up before being bottled. And does the color develop a lot different once it's at, at this point too? Or no? no, the color's done. The color. Yeah. Color got developed in the in the brew house yeah. by the special new malts that we uh, we use, and also in barrels, uh, particularly bourbon barrels because they're charred, hmm. will pick up quite a bit of color. Contrary to what their name suggests, not all sours taste that way. It's interesting because I think a lot of people associate sours with just like straight up lemon, like yeah. makes your face pucker, and they're just not all that way at no. all. I mean, there's so many different styles of it and this tastes pretty and like yeah. not the lemon head at all. No, and this this is this is sour to the point that you recognize it's sour, it cleanses your palate, yeah. it, but it doesn't rip out your tonsils. <laughs>